The Englishman, he says, is a citizen, and the spirit and logic of his life proclaim the idea, listen to this, that a nation should love herself. Patriotism, that's what it means. La patrie is the nation, but it's stronger than nation. It's the native land. It's that sense of the belonging, the soil, the soil that feeds you, the soil where your ancestors lie, the soil where you too will be buried, the soil that produces the crops, the flowers, the scents, the life. And he goes on. It is therefore only natural that one feels more closely tied to one's compatriots than to people of other nations. Suddenly the rhetoric goes up. I hate the cold hearts which feel nothing for their country, men and women who observe their country's misery with the greatest detachment and claim for themselves the proud name of a citizen of the world, pretending under all possible circumstances to love humanity so that they do not need to serve their own city. David Goodhart, to somewheres and anywheres, even Theresa May, one phrase that she might be remembered for, those who are citizens of everywhere are citizens of nowhere. Hello, and thank you for watching David Starkey Talks. If, as I very much hope, you're enjoying them, why not become more actively involved and join my Members Club? As a member, you'll be able to take part in the members-only weekly question and answer session, suggest topics for forthcoming videos, and have priority booking for my forthcoming live events. And while you're at it, why not have a look at the store page on my website, davidstarkey.com. There you can purchase t-shirts and other merchandise, buy signed copies of my books, and, if you're feeling brave and a bit flush, even arrange to take me out to lunch. Thank you once again for watching. I look forward to hearing from you and to welcoming you to my Members Club.